Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. As always, I just want to thank you guys, you know, for supporting these videos and, you know, any type of uh, engagement you guys give these videos. Again, you guys don't know, you know, how much it means to me, just the fact that, you know, I'm able to make these videos for you guys. But <clears throat> today I just want to talk to you guys about Astro Sam and give you guys some little like tips and tricks that you guys could do to, you know, help you survive, you know, a boss battle. Because I know like sometimes, you know, it's hard to understand how to fight bosses and it's like they don't really you know tell you you know any strategies to help you like stay alive so i just want to give you guys like a couple of tips so basically i just want to let you guys know like make sure you're taking advantage of you know the different boosts that you guys could buy from the vending machine you know like you can buy like health stuff you can buy grenades you can buy like critical hit stuff you can buy stuff to boost your defense boost your attack even stuff to help you like refill your uh, stamina for your legion so you have to be mindful of that stuff man because again when you're in the heat of a really like intense battle bro like <laughs> you, you could easily like drop it bro so you have to be you know mindful of that stuff and just be aware you know of like what the boss is and using your iris like i definitely recommend uh that too because that'll tell you like how much health the boss has like you don't want to just be guessing you know uh trying to figure out how much damage you have to do on the boss because it can get annoying, you know, not knowing, you know, how much health he has left. And you're just sitting there just, like, getting all these critical hits. And, like, you just don't know when it's going to die. So that's a tip and trick. Another thing, too, is, like, make sure uh, you guys are evading stuff, too. Like, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but if you, um, if you hold the left trigger, like, if you hold it down, like, you'll start running. But if you um, tap ZR, you can actually do like a little slide too. Like I don't know if uh, you got any of you guys know that. So that'd be another tip. Like, you know, if the boss is like firing at you, or even just like a regular uh, chimera, you guys can dodge like gunshots or you know throwing stuff at you by sliding too. Another thing you guys uh, want to take advantage of is the sync attacks, man. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> like that, I'm, I might have to do a part two to that video, but. Uh, the sync attacks is where, like, you and your legion tag team up against the enemy. You guys just start going ham, bro. Like, it's crazy some of the stuff that you can do. But I just wanted to um, give you guys like that. Also, make sure you guys are using uh, the evade button, bro. Like, I don't know how important or how much I could stress that. Is like, make sure you're evading when you can. Because you'll also get a, uh, like, time will slow down. Like, if you evade right before the boss, like, tries to hit you. You get a chance to do like a combo if you press, I think, uh, it's ZR after it, because ZR is how you attack, at least for my control layout. Like, you'll follow up with like this crazy little attack. Also, another thing, too, you guys want to pay attention to, man, I, I might have to make a part two to that sinking attack, because I'm starting to realize how important that is, too. But you guys can do like different uh, combos, too, off of that. Like, you don't just have to be attacking the boss. Like, sometimes the boss can attack you and you can counter that attack with a sync attack so um there's that also like making sure like if you're getting pummeled and like you're losing a lot of health like back up like don't just let the boss obviously beat you up because you're gonna die so you don't want to be you know using the same you know pressing the same buttons you know not being aware of where the boss is because some of those bosses move around bro and it's annoying bro <laughs> like you have to go out and actively go search for them so you have to be careful about that stuff too man um, also, uh, paying attention to your Legion gauge, obviously, like, you don't want that to run out, because you're, again, unless you plan on just fighting the boss by yourself and just using what you have, <laughs> uh, it's probably not a good idea, so you have to be mindful of that, which is why, like, either you limit your, uh, use of it, or, like, you figure out ways to increase the amount of time that you can use it, so there's that, too. Also, with the bosses, like, be mindful, that, like, every boss fight isn't gonna be the same, like, it's all gonna be different like sometimes you're gonna be able to get up close and you know hit them other times you're gonna have to be far away man so again like i'm pretty early in the game still but i just want to give you guys just like a few like tips and tricks to help you guys out in case you guys are struggling with boss fights but astral chain is crazy bro like i still can't believe this game's on the switch man <laughs> talk about a game that takes a fully advantage of the switch like as like its architecture and its infrastructure bro like, this the game is definitely uh, it, man. I'm really glad, you know, we got a chance to experience it. And it's an exclusive, too, bro. So we don't have to worry about, you know, it being derailed <laughs> by other people. You know, like, having a PS4 version of Xbox. Like, nah, man. Like, the Switch 
fully needed a game like this, bro. So, anyway, guys, like, I hope you guys thought this video was helpful in some sort of way. If you guys have anything, you know, to help somebody else out, you know, be free to comment down below. And as always, guys, I appreciate the support in the videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.